Very special greetings to our viewers. Thank you for joining us for today's episode of the Great Controversy series. Today, we'll be doing a chapter entitled The Bible and the French Revolution, and it's chapter 15. Now, this is not a revolution that the EFF is starting, and the EFF was not the first group to start a revolution, but we see it also in Bible history or in the history of Christianity. My name is Zugiswa Ngube, and I'm joined by my fellow panelists. From my left, Brother Nati, Sister Ntsigi, Mam Ngube, and Brother Francois. To begin, we're going to ask Sister Ntsigi to open with a word of prayer. Let us pray. Our Father who art in heaven, we thank you for this opportunity. We thank you, dear Lord, for your messes, which I knew every morning. We thank you for this chapter that Sister Zugi has introduced, the Bible and the French Revolution. We ask in a very special way, dear Lord, for your Holy Spirit to guide us and to pour a special blessing on our viewers at home who are listening to this discussion, Father God. Bless them with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. We ask all these things in the most wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Now, today's chapter, dear viewer and my fellow panelists, is a very sad chapter, right? It's, it's one of the darkest periods in Christian history that we have. Mm. And the chapter begins with the fact that you know, the people had chosen darkness. You know, in fact, it's not just one person. It was literally the whole nation. You know, when we read the Bible in John chapter 3, verse 19, it tells us that this is the condemnation. Mm -hmm. You know, that light is come into the world. Oh, yes. But men love darkness rather than light, you know, because their deeds were evil. And we see exactly that in this chapter where, you know, people have chosen to not follow the Bible. People have chosen to reject the Reformation. And this is not just rejecting the Reformation. It's actually rejecting God himself. And this is where we are in the period of, of this dark history in the 16th century. That's interesting, Zuge, because this is not the first time, you know, in the history of God's people, you know, that he created, that we see them choosing otherwise than God. For example, the book of Judges is littered with examples, you know, one after another, of how God's people repeatedly chose mm. darkness yes. instead of the light. Mm. And of course, whenever they suffered severe consequences, they would cry out to the Lord to intervene. And of course, our good Lord would intervene each time, but... Without fail, the children of Israel would find themselves back into apostasy and, and rejection of God. Hmm. It doesn't hmm. matter what miracles he had wrought upon them and performed for them to save them, hmm. you know. But hmm. without fail, they would rebel and, and forget God. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I want to say the Israelites rejected hmm but they did not persecute or kill people for the Bible. Mm. Mm. Those were just rebellious and not following God. Yeah. But these French people, the papacy had succeeded in avoiding the entrance of the Bible in the people, making sure there's no Bible, they should not read it, they should mm. not see it, no sermon preach, nothing. It was too tough. Mm. Mm. It's very also key to understand that French, I mean, France, <laughs> in this matter, actually came from the when 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 the Roman Empire was actually fragmented into mm -hmm. pieces, mm -hmm. and and they actually had quite knowledge of history in their hands. Mm -hmm. Babylon has fallen, Mid and Persia is coming forward, yeah. and we we find Greece is coming forward. Roman Empire, you know, it also came to a point which was now broken in pieces, and France was born from that division. Yes. So history was was there to see how God has allowed people to come in and to come out. And each and every one of these kingdoms went out of the existence simply because they were not able to give his glory to God. I want to give an example of Babylon the Great. Mm. When you come to Daniel chapter 5, now I just want to read these verses. Daniel chapter 5, I think at the verse is verse 23. The Bible speaking about this king, it says there, but has, he's speaking about Belshazzar, of course, it says, but has lifted up thyself against the Lord of heaven. Mm. And they have brought the vessels of his house before thee. And thou and thy lords and thy wives and thy concubines have drunk, I've drunk wine in them. And thou hast praised the gods of silver and mm. God of the God of brass, iron, wood, and stone, mm. which see not, nor hear, nor know. And he God, I mean he, I mean the God in whose uh, hand uh, thy breath is, and whose are uh, all thy words has thou not glorified. So Belshazzar, in his experience, what he did was 
And as much as he had a, a knowledge on how God has dealt with his grandpa, uh, grand, grand, grandfather, uh, he has gone into the into the field and become a beast simply yeah. because he was not able to humble himself. Mm. He went into for seven years. He came out. He was very humble and acknowledged mm. the God of the universe. There was a benefit of history yes. recorded for the for him. You know who's going to come after his grandfather. Yes. But we are told that he ignored history and he went about doing things that were actually against what God was actually expecting him to do. And eventually came down the crumbling of the entire kingdom. So the French Revolution, we are looking at the Bible in the French Revolution. We are going to see that the ultimate result of this revolution will end up also just as the other kingdoms mm. actually came down crumbling. Because when you set God aside mm. and you try, you want to, to lift up yourself in place of God, God cannot have anyone that I can actually compete with him. Mm. So God will have to face you one-on-one -on -one, and the result won't be a good one that you're going to enjoy in the process. Mm -hmm. Mm. So another thing is that uh, the French Revolution, uh, if you read this chapter, it, told, it tells us that they, 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 they took away the scripture. So this darkness came as a result of taking out, of removing the scripture. Mm. We know in the book of Psalms uh, 119 verse 105, David says, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light uh, unto my path. Mm. So there was no direction. Yep. Everyone was doing as they pleased because mm. there was no direction that was showing or telling them how to do things. Mm. So mm. they were doing things according to their will and not following the Bible. So the removal of scripture uh, resulted in darkness. Mm. It's actually interesting that the Bible prophesied this, right? And yeah. we know yeah. Revelation yeah. chapter 11. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, there's a, quite a few references of how exactly this would play out in history, or mm. at least at this time it was prophetic, so how it would play out in the future. Mm. And I just want us to, to start discussing Revelation chapter 11, just briefly pick up on what exactly is going on in this chapter, mm -hmm. and then we go into the evidence of that in actual history, because mm. that's really important. This shows us that God knows the future. Yes. And when God has said that something will happen, yes, there's really. no way yeah. that it's not going to take mm. place. Mm. Revelation chapter 11 from verse two. 2. Okay, so I'm reading from verse 2. It says, But the court which, was, which is without the temple live out and measure it not, for it is given unto the Gentiles and the holy city shall they tread underfoot forty and two months. Mm. Verse 3, and I will give power unto my two witnesses, and they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred and three score days mm. clothed in sackcloth. Mm. So here we find uh, John the Revelator writing this book. And then in this chapter in particular, as you have already alluded to it, that it, it's a prophecy concerning this revolution that oh, happened yes. in France. Mm, mm. Okay, there are two witnesses that he, he refers to here, mm. that they shall be prophesying clothed in sackcloth for a specified number of days, mm. uh, a thousand two hundred and three score days, that is 60 Okay, three score is 60, 1,260 days. Mm. In the previous chapters that we touched on, we established that this was the period of the Dark Ages. Oh, yes. And as Nati has already mentioned, it was dark because the Word of God was not there, which mm. is mm. the light of the world. Mm. 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 Maybe to add on to that, John 3, verse 19, this is the condemnation that men loved darkness rather than light. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Once we love darkness rather than light, we are in danger. But we thank God of these reformers. Mm -hmm. They had to put sackcloth. Sackcloth, when people yes. were fasting, is removing your royalty like a king. Mm. And dress in sackcloth and plead with God to fast, to pray for something to happen, to be serious. They had to struggle to bring back this light. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The, 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 I, I like what my sister just, you see, the, the verses, they just line up nicely. Mm. Yeah. You know, beginning of the Dark Ages, and then you come down, and now we are venturing into the uh, the French, the Bible and French Revolution. Mm. So w when you come back, you, you're going to find out, maybe people, people don't understand, or nations have never understood what is the role of the Bible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to the nation, as well as to individuals. Mm. If you can understand, then you're going to know that you're going to see exactly where to place the Bible when you're now dealing with your personal life or a nation. The Bible in the book of Proverbs says, righteousness exalted a nation. nation. Mm -hmm. And you cannot know righteousness, righteousness without knowing the Bible. Yes, because yes. It's, the, it's the only instrument that shows you how to do right and how to do wrong. Now, the Bible is actually a restraint. 
you know, a deterrent that you put mm. to stop the flood of human passion. Mm. So when you want to do away with the Bible, expect anything that is human to flood as well. Mm. My brother says that as they were trying to set aside the Bible, then hell is going to break loose. Mm-hmm. Mm. So we, as we are, we are just trying to build up the, you know, the work, you know, in terms of the French Revolution, mm-hmm. we have to understand that this revolution is going to be against the Bible. Yes. And this Bible, which is going to be set aside, is going now to, op- as they set aside their restraints, then they will have to expect whatever the devil is going to do through men mm. and women, which is not going to be a good picture. So mm. we have so much to learn from where we are sitting as a people. Look at back and see history and learn lesson to be able to prepare for the future. Yes, yes. Yeah, so so you've just reminded me of the scripture, John 5, 35, you know, search the scriptures, oh, for in them mm-hmm. you think you have mm-hmm. eternal life, mm-hmm. and they are they which mm-hmm. testify, testify of me. Yes. So there's two witnesses here, mm-hmm. you know, that John the Revelator is talking about. Yes. And the two witnesses, you know, the writer of the great controversy, because this is the chapter, yeah. the chapter we're discussing Dealing is from with, this yeah. book, yeah. tells us that the two witnesses represent the Old and the New Testament. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So when Brother Francois keeps saying the Bible, the Bible, he's referring referring to the two witnesses because mm. the Bible is constituted yes. of the Old and the New, and New Testament, Testament. Yes. you know. Now these were given power. Mm. That's what this verse is telling us. Yeah. Yes. They were given power because what does that mean? Oh, Mama, oh, Mama Ngube has already told us that yeah. it was a period of of, of, of persecution, persecution and, and hence sector. Mm. It was not a period of peace and prosperity. Mm. And so they were not prophesying in, 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 in a good and nice time. Yeah. It was a time of hardship mm. through which these two witnesses mm. were prophesying. We can add to say these candles, these two witnesses, mm-hmm. I likened to two olive trees oh, mm. yes. and yes. also likened to two candle yes. stands. Mm. Yes. The candle stands in the yes. temple. Mm. Were to be kept burning. Yes. Mm. And what made them keep burning? Oil. Oil. Mm. So we need yes. the Holy Spirit to Amen. push and Amen. oil us and make us move. Mm. Mm. We come to the olive trees. They needed water, flow from the river, mm. keep them alive, keep them rooted in the word of God. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Without the word of God, we are nothing as nations. Amen. 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 Just just coming back there, <laughs> I love how my mom just put it. That's that's very beautiful. Yeah. You see, the, the two witnesses, what's so special about these ones is that they testify of Christ. Oh, yes. Mm. Mm. So by you trying to silence the voice of the two witnesses, what you are doing is you're fighting against the plan of redemption. Yes. And setting yourself on the side of the devil 100%. Now, I've, I've actually gone a Bible study with someone who was actually somewhere in, in one of the provinces. A big pastor has 50,000 members in his church. Mm. Mm. And he told me that he's one of the two witnesses. Whoa. That's interesting. <laughs> he says he's, he's one of the two he witnesses. And, and he mentioned one of, of one of the guys that are actually working in collaboration is actually in Nigeria. He's the second one. Oh. And so if you don't understand history, anyone can come up and come and claim yeah. anything. Mm. We are dealing with French Revolution. In the midst of the French Revolution, that's where the two witnesses are now being mentioned. So... He has never lived uh, 200 years. Mm. Do you understand? So through the testimony of scripture, we are able to know also where errors are found themselves. Mm. Mm. So, yes. Sorry, 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 Brother Nati. Another thing that I want to to, to pick here is that, you know, when all these systems would remove or put aside the Bible, all of them, they had this thing in their minds that, they, 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 there is no other kingdom except for theirs. Mm. So they knew that the scripture will show or teach the people that there is a kingdom that is, is, is to come. Mm. Because the, these two witnesses that we're talking about, they, the Old Testament talks about Christ to come. Oh, yeah. mm. And the New Testament talks about the Christ who came. Oh, yeah. So they wanted to, to hide that from the people because mm. they wanted to misinterpret and use it for their purposes. Mm. As we go for a break, don't go away. When we come back, we'll be discussing the effects of what exactly happened when these two witnesses, which is the Bible, were set aside. Mm. Don't go anywhere.
Welcome back from the break as we continue with our discussion on the Bible and the French Revolution. Mm. Now, Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12 tells us that the word of God is quick and oh, yes. powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, yeah. piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and is a discerner oh, of yes. the thoughts mm. and intents of the heart. Mm. Amen. Now, when you have a nation that has set aside you know, this quick and powerful book, yep. you know, this book that is supposed to discern the thoughts and the intents of the heart. Mm -hmm. What exactly happens? You know, because obviously there's an effect. Mm -hmm. If there's nothing that is discerning your thoughts and the intentions of your heart, if there's nothing that is propelling you to mm -hmm. be who you are, which is who God wants you to be, which is a loving, kind Christian yes. that takes care of the environment, that, that does good towards others, mm -hmm. then what kind of society are we going to be? Yeah. What kind of society was France yeah. at this point? Yeah. I want us to go back to Revelation chapter 11, mm. verse 7 and 8, just to launch us into the discussion of what exactly was happening in France. Mm. So verse 7 says, And when they shall have finished their testimony, the beast that ascendeth out of the bottomless pit shall make war against them mm. and shall overcome them and kill them. Verse 8, And their dead bodies shall lie in the streets of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, mm. where also our Lord was crucified. Mm. So we see here that this is the period of the French Revolution yeah. is a period that follows immediately after, mm. you know, the period of the Dark Ages, mm. you know, because it, during the period of the Dark Ages, the two witnesses are prophesying in sackcloth, of mm. course, mm. but then follows this beast that comes out of the bottomless pit. And we have the, the Bible in, in Daniel chapter 7 oh, yes. does identify, tell us that a beast represents a kingdom. A kingdom. Mm. And uh, uh, Zuki has already told us that we're talking about the French, French. Revolution, which mm. means the country or kingdom we're referring to here is France. Mm. So that is the beat, beast that comes out of the bottomless pit yeah. that made war with, with, with the two witnesses. Okay, so we, we see in verse 8 that uh, spiritually, this, is, this, uh, this city is called uh, Sodom mm. in Egypt, mm. where also our Lord was crucified. Oh, yeah. 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 One thing that we know about uh, actually Sodom, yes. mm. sexual immorality. Yeah. yeah. Mm. You know, and Egypt is connected to the idea of rejecting God as mm. the only true God. Remember the story of Exodus? Atheism. Mm. Yeah, atheism. atheism yes. 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 That's Pharaoh. the word. Yeah. Who is God? Pharaoh. Yeah, Pharaoh. Yeah, I mean, who is God? That I, you know, so... The, the, this, that denial of the existence of God, yes. which is atheism, characterize that's what characterized France at this point. Yes. So France has actually partook or tapped into the philosophy of atheism mm -hmm. and, and sodomy, which is immo sexual immorality anyway. So that's that's what we are seeing there. And you will see that all this is going to come as a result. In the previous verse, it says, and then the two witnesses are going to be killed, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So... When when the, when the Bible is being silenced, killed, and mm. this can go with a with a you know a preacher, mm. when a preacher speaks, does not speak for himself. The Bible, when it speaks, does not speak for himself for itself. Mm. So when the voice of a preacher, when the voice of the Bible is being silenced, expect something else to take place yes. because now things will have to happen. Because if God is not in control, because He's been set aside, then the devil step into the ground. So what we are going to see from this point on, going on what. Is going to come as a result of the Bible has been set aside mm. and they're now, uh, you know, exalting now things, the theories, mm. which has nothing mm. to do with God, hey. but all has to do with, with the devil. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So um, the characteristics uh, of um, Egypt and Sodom were found in this uh, French Revolution. <clears throat> so what happened is that if you remove the Bible, which is the law of God, mm. the result is lawlessness. Yes. So we find them here yeah, that, first of all, when, when, when Moses spoke to Pharaoh to release God's people, he said, who is this Jehovah that I should listen to him? Mm. So they were just rejecting the existence of God. Of God. Mm. Who is this person that we need to do and follow his rules? Mm. Therefore, we're going to live as we please. Mm. And then the second thing, there was Sodom. 
have you said my brother sexual immorality corruption so mm. there was this there was full of corruption because mm. the bible was not there mm. so that's why all those things happened oh yes mm. so there was the burning of the bible you mm. know yes. there was the burning of the bible they took the bible mm. because when you say and the the two witnesses shall be killed we see french in the revolution mm. okay there is mm. also a burning of the bible now from a political point of view a lot of people who subscribe as revolutionists oh, yes. would actually make reference to the French Revolution mm. as an exemplary practice that occurred because the people were revolting against the oppressions that they were experiencing at That's the time. Mm. Poverty and uh, the, 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 the wealth that the clergy as well as mm. the nobles, mm. okay? Mm. You, you see here the religious bodies and the, 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 the statesmen. Mm. They mm. were rich people at the expense of the poor people. Mm. So necessarily, a, an ordinary person listening to this presentation out there at mm. home would say a revolution is a good thing because people were dying from hunger and oh, starvation yes. and all yes. those things. But this is what the writer of the Great Controversy is highlighting, mm. that the Bible, okay, which had nothing to, which, which was uh, supposed to have been the one that provides a panacea to these ailments, mm. was also thrown into mm. the fire, mm. you know, mm. as part of this revolution. Sure. Okay, maybe we say we need a Christian revolution. They are mm. persecuting, but some are rising. Yes. You start preaching again. Yeah. You don't burn things. You yeah. preach. You present the truth. You live right. And this is what the reformers were doing. Yeah. In such hard times, but they kept on rising up. Yeah. They kept on coming up. <clears throat> Not saying oh, others have died, we better stop. Some flew to other countries. Yeah. But they will come back and start preaching after 10 years, after 15 years. They continued in the faith. Mm. Mm. The results of doing away with the Bible, actually, you know, led yeah. to the revolution. <laughs> it's unfortunate that, you know, the Bible was thrown into the fire mm. because mm. Uh, actually the doing away with the Bible or the abuse of the Bible mm. from what we have seen by the prelates and, and, and the statesmen, yeah. you know, you, using the same Bible to oppress the people, oppress the made the people to reject the actions they were doing as well as the Bible. That is the unfortunate part that occurred in this revolution. Mm. 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 So the devil always finds his way on how to yes. get his agenda done. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. You see, we've been reading about the reformers all along, and the Bible has been at the center of their reason of existence. Mm -hmm. But all of a sudden, these countries, they've been in touch with the reformers. And we know the Catholic Church has been taking ground. You know, so whenever you look at all this revolution, you know, French revolution in particular, but the Bible and the Catholic Church has been against the Bible itself. Yes. So what the Bible, what, what the Catholic, normally the Catholic Church or the Pepsi, the, Roman. the Romans, mm -hmm. what they normally do is if they cannot get their way done in one way, they will try to orchestrate yet another way. Mm. And when you start behind the French Revolution, you find that the fingers of the papacy was also in. Yes. Because his joy was only found in wanting to have the Bible off from the hands of the people. Yes. Mm. So it caused a lot of damage in the process. And then people get to a space where they say, you know, we are, we, are, we are sick and tired of this. Mm. Just as we are now seeing today, if, if you see in, in our days, we are now getting presidents, you know, mm. occupying the, the positions of trust and, you know, become... Christians occupying the position of trust into the political world. Imagine, I was speaking to a friend of mine from Zambia. He said, look, I'm an Adventist and I advocate for good things. Mm. But now what we are now feeling here in Zambia ever since we got a president who's actually uh, an Adventist is that the church is going to be headed in the process. Mm. If they don't see Adventism in this particular man, Mm. Guess what the nation is going to do? Absolutely. When you mm. go and do the preaching of the gospel, no one will take it mm. because they are going to look at you and when they see you, they take your, they take and yeah. stereotype you in somebody else and eventually no one will want to do anything with the Bible. Mm. So the purpose working, you know, in a very cunning way behind the scene, he also, his fingers are actually being uh, put into this revolution so that people can get to a space of saying that, away with the Bible, no way with Christ. We don't want it the gospel. We can live as we please. And whenever people want to live as they please, the result is that the devil takes the mind of men and try to drive them in whatever directions. Mm, and and it's, it's Okay. We can bring a point. Yes. All is happening. God is not dead. Oh, yeah. Mm. God is watching. Yes. And then he writes to say on page 268, Yes. If any man hate them, yes. these two witnesses, mm. and tremble upon them, mm -hmm. 
they, their mouth will, they will bring fire out of their mouth. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's also this. Yeah, you, you will catch on it. I just want to finish. Right. With God says, what you right. do to them will be done to you. Mm. You will also be right. killed. French killed Christians. And in the end, some of them were killed in the result of what they did to the Christians. Mm. Mm. Yes. Mm. You know, I think the other interesting thing we find in the chapter is the fact that because these people were not wanting to worship God, God has put something in all of us that wants to worship. Oh, yes. Human oh, nature oh, yes. wants worship. to worship something. Yes. And you find that the destruction of the Bible or the removal of the Bible ended up making them worship the God of reason. reason. You know, it says they, they, they put up a woman, a profligate woman, and they started worshiping this woman yes. and they termed it worshiping the God of reason. Mm. And, you know, we, we find that this is what's happening now where a lot of us are trusting in our own minds, mm. in our own understandings. We want to come to the scriptures and bring our own understanding and argue with the scriptures. Mm. You know, you hear a person saying, hey, you know, I think this should have been written like this, you know, because now we think we... We are more knowledgeable than God. We think we are better than the men that God had chosen to write the scriptures. Mm. Yeah. You know, we're so dependent on reason. Our education systems Absolutely. are running us around the fact that we can argue and reason for ourselves. Yeah. And this is what we were seeing in France. Hmm. And, you know, we cannot, it's, it's dangerous. It's dangerous because we cannot trust to our reason, mm. really. really. Mm. And as you have uh, correctly put it, uh, the goddess of reason, which was a statue of a woman, mm. you know, Number one, that's a graven image already because, like you said, <laughs> by nature we are yeah. created to worship. Mm. So if we reject the worship of the God who created the, the heavens and the earth, yeah. we, 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 we substitute it yeah. for another. Yeah. You know, mm. there's this graven image created and exalted, the goddess of reason, okay, and rationality and science and everything else that we study uh, proceeds from that, you mm. know. Yeah, and yeah. another thing, you know, the danger of, of reasoning. Because uh, our carnal minds are limited. Mm. So therefore, mm. you cannot apply reason into something that is was written mm. by God. Mm. And the, 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 another danger to that is that if something did not make sense to them, they just brushed it off mm. because they wanted something that even right now when you go and you preach to people, they say, but that doesn't make sense. Mm. You see that they, 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 it still Listen. exists. Mm. They said, how is that possible? Mm. And yet they forget that the God that we worship is not like us. So you cannot apply reason to the scripture. Yeah. Mm. Mm. And see what they were doing when they did worship these uh, false gods. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. They ended up doing ceremonies, yes. rituals yes. that are not Christ-like. Some end up burning their kids, pleasing gods, and that's not it. When our just worship of God is simple, simple. pure, and good, it keeps us healthy. Mm. You don't have to stress to worship a God or cut yourself or do anything. It's just listening to the commandments of God, and you are saved. I, I, I wanted to come back when my sister mentioned about, you know, fire, when, when these ones were killed and fire will go out, right? <laughs> it, you know, what the Bible does is, when fire, by, by the way, it's always been connected to judgment. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, you understand? Yes. So it might not take place immediately. Mm -hmm. But what we know is when, when the word of God has come to your reach and you turn against the word of the Lord, judgment will be set against you. Yes. Mm -hmm. So the nation... As, as they stood up and tried to promote um, whatever that they wanted to, pro to promote in place of the word of God, judgment will have to be set upon the nation. And this judgment is not, it actually, we, we saw it in the killing that was going on. You know, people mm. standing against each other, bloodshed and all these kind of things. But that's not all. Because when you speak about the judgment of God, you're not talking about judgment in terms of just dying in this life. God is looking at, at the end of your journey. So anyone that has stood against the word of God and then they actually went on to cross over the line of grace. I like how Shakespeare put it. He says, there is an invisible line to everyone's life of which once if you have crossed over, you're never going to go back again. Mm -hmm. So we'll have to be very careful as we are dealing with God. That line is very invisible. We cannot see it. It's a line of grace. When you cross the line of grace, remember once you are on the other side, there's no way that you can come back. Mm. Mm. Why? Because you are now on the side where you cannot be saved. 
So the majority in the French Revolution, those stood against the word of God. And as much as they might think that probably they have some reasons and stuff, but they will have to remember that they, they actually had a choice to make in the process, either to accept it or to reject it. But they actually played a part, a part as well in that one. Hmm. So in essence, what we're seeing now is the mm. fact that the results of removing the Bible, mm. you know, or what exactly they were doing when removing the Bible was people were being persecuted, the Bible was being burnt, mm. God was replaced by the goddess of reason, you know, people were worshipping everything else that they could find their hands on, mm. you know, mm. besides God. And hey. this is the result of what we see yeah. when the Bible has yes. been removed, that society yeah. becomes anarchy it, oh, yes. everything just goes really bad Blush. now as we are gonna go to a break now we ask our viewers to please stay tuned and don't go anywhere Welcome back from the break. Thank you for staying tuned. Now to launch us into this discussion, I want us to read Galatians chapter 6, right? Galatians chapter 6 verse 7 says, Be not deceived. God is not mocked. Mm -hmm. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap everlasting life. Oh, yes. Now we're finding that France is sowing corruption, corruption, right? They've, they've discarded the Bible. They have decided that they're going to go their own way. They're mm. going to chart their own path because God's path is not something that they want to do. Yeah. Yeah. Now, Obviously, there's consequences to that. You know, the Bible has a principle, whatever you sow, that you will reap. If you sow corruption, you will reap corruption. If you sow of the Spirit, you will reap of the Spirit. Mm. And this is what we now want to discuss. What, what was happening in France? What was the result of them rejecting God and the Bible and deciding to go their own way? The, the Bible is very clear. You see, when, when you look at the Bible, the Bible deals with uh, the rich and the poor. Yeah, You know, when you study the Bible, the Bible actually gives each one of us his position where they should be and how they should treat the next person. So if I am a Christian, I am actually being led by the Bible. I will know how to treat the next person who's actually close to me because he's my mm. neighbor. Mm -hmm. So the, 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 the success and the progress of somebody's life becomes my interest as mm. well. So I want to see my sister growing up and, and doing well. But when it's come to the French Revolution, okay. we are told that because of the Bible has been set aside from men, mm. the rich took advantage of the poor. Mm. Yeah. The poor yeah. also actually hated, hated the rich. Yeah. Yeah. So you can see love was actually down to the ground. There was no love at all. Mm. So the fruit of that revolution is that the love of God was no longer in existence. Mm. And when God is not into existence, then anarchy, mm. persecution, hatred, selfishness mm. takes, takes the paramount place in the heart of men. Because the only thing that tells us that I should love my neighbor as myself is the word of God. Yes. So when we decide to set it aside, as French, France, by the way, actually decided to put the Bible aside and try to walk into their own mind, which is fallen in any way. Not knowing that we're actually in a fallen state, we cannot be able to sustain ourselves. We need to be sustained by the power of the word of God. Yes. So those who are actually wealthy, they saw also opportunity on how to enslave others. <laughs> and these ones, you know, there's a place that I once read. Let me just share with you this okay. one. It says, uh, no one will be left unattended when it's come to the judgment of God. Mm -hmm. If you're a poor person, God is going to make sure that he bring you to a space where he's going to expose you to those who are actually rich so that your covetousness must be exposed. Because mm. our problem, we who are actually poor, is that we always want to get what the next person has, mm. which is sin. And those who are rich, God has given them wealth so that they can be able to also share yeah. with the rest. Mm. Now, greediness is going to be also a problem to them. So when it's come to French Revolution, we can see that the poor, they are now reflecting their, their character in fullest sense. Mm. And the rich are now reflecting also their character in terms of their greatness. So greatness and, and covetousness actually took over the throne. And, and it, that, that's really, it was not a good picture to see because each one will try, try to defend themselves and no one will take the blame. Mm. I just want to picture on page 271. 
Mm -hmm. Century <clears throat> after century, the blood of the saints had been shed mm. in the streets. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The situation in France. Yeah. Mm. Mm. You are enjoying peace and your money. But killings, people are dying. Mm. Some have no fathers, no mothers. Mm. The worst that I read, they said they would kill girls 17 and 18 years. Sure. Killing no measure that adults only or what. Mm. They were just angry with Christians. Mm. Kill them so that we don't have the word. Oh, yes. But we thank God the world dances laid down their lives. We have these uh, Albo uh, genius. Mm. They were also similar. They stood for the truth. Though they were intimidated, they died like their brothers. Mm. Yeah. So we want to say, thank God, later the two witnesses raised, mm. were raised up. Yeah. Uh, mm. Another thing that I want to add, uh, th there's a lesson in, in, in this um, uh, story, mm. if I can put it like that. The way you treat people, oh yeah, yeah, it, it will come back mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because we know that uh, during this time, uh, France was led by King Louis the Sixteenth. Mm -hmm. So, like my brother uh, has been saying, so he he granted a, a special privileges to 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 the Catholic clergy um, mm. and also the the the, the people who were just uh, uh, normal citizens. They were suffering. They were paying taxes mm -hmm. to sponsor the luxurious life mm. of these clergy mm -hmm. and all these nobles. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine, you are poor, you are suffering, and yet you are also being killed. Mm -hmm. And these people are living luxurious life with your heart and money. Hey. So that is what this uh, brought hatred towards these citizens, that we can no longer live like this. Mm -hmm. Therefore, they hated them. That's why they did what? They gave them the same treatment they've been getting from them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's interesting sure. that you may, you've brought in that dimension, Brother Nati, because today we've seen, especially with the, 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 the devastation that was caused by the pandemic, oh, you yeah. know, people losing jobs and all that. We've seen a min, uh, many versions of protests within our own country. Yeah. But mm. elsewhere in America, we've seen black cards written, eat the rich, you know? Mm. Yes. We must eat the rich yeah. because... Yeah. Yeah. And it goes back to what you said earlier, that if the Bible was freely circulated, mm. uh, you know, because God cut short... The, 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 the period, mm. okay? So it did not necessarily stretch for the entire mm. 1,260 years. Yeah. And that's why we're talking 1793 instead of 1798, mm. you know, because God, out of his mercy, he cut short the period mm. of, of persecution and suffering where the Bible was not freely distributable and accessible to the people. Mm. Because if the Bible was, the principles that are taught in the Bible were going to or to, to teach the people that we take care of each other, we oh, love yes. each other, mm. like Brother Francois has said. Mm. Now, one of the blackest in the black catalog mm. of crime, you know, <laughs> that was committed during this French Revolution yeah. was the massacre of, of, of St. Bartholomew. Mm. You know, it says it is the blackest, because this is a black catalog we're talking mm. about, you mm. know. So, so it was the most gruesome and horror. It was shuddering horror, mm. you know, yeah. to, 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 for them to have done this kind of an atrocity. Mm. Mm. Among the atrocities they were committing at mm. that time. Mm. Mm. It, you know, when it comes to revolution, someone always being behind of these things and wanting to benefit. You know, we've been talking about, you know, the warfare that has been going on with the reformations and stuff. I just came across this Small paragraph, a couple of sentences, by the way, where it speaks about who was benefiting behind these hey. things. Mm. It, it says there, and the Jesuit alone flourished yes. in yes. nations mm. and ruled with dreadful tyranny over churches and schools and prisons and the galleys. Mm. The Jesuit, you know, when you study the Jesuit, these were actually put in place by Ignatius Loyola, yeah. the secret society of the Catholic Church. Yeah. We are not talking about individuals within the church. We are talking about we're not we're talking about all the system. The system. Yes. Mm. Members within the church have no clue, mm. you know, of what is happening, what the system is all about. I was one of the Catholic Church members. I never knew. My parents are still there. Mm. But at, until God brings you face to face with the reality and truth, then you'll yeah. be able to know the system where you are. So the Jesuits, the agenda was mostly to try and overthrow the, the French, I mean, the, 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 the Reformation movement. So in that, that, that French, uh, Bi the Bible in the French Revolution, they were also behind. 
mm. and they benefited so much big time. Mm. So when we sit down and if you want to join any revolution around the world, you will have to sit down. What, what is my benefits in there mm. as a child of God? Mm. Because someone who actually orchestrated all these things, it's either getting money or he's mm. getting his, his ground, mm. you know, well positioned. So we have to be very careful. Don't ju just join the movement of people because everyone is toy toying and we are rioting. Mm. And there you are. You don't even ask, where are we going with this? Who actually set up this in place? Otherwise, you're going to be doing things that won't, you won't even get benefit at the end of the day. While somebody else is just eating your energy and your time that you're actually spending to try and you know, lift up the, you know, the placards and, and all these kind of things. Mm. And it was now serious. Mm. Brother, we choose, you either choose a stack mm. or exile. Ex mm. Do or die. Oh, yeah. mm. We'll be coming to that as we come to the end. These 12, 60 days shall come again. Yeah. Persecution shall come like it did in France. Yeah. Mm. It is coming to us in the end. Mm. Mm. 12, 60 mm. What do you Nothing choose? You under the sun. Mm. God or men? Mm. 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 In fact, if you look, listen very carefully, I mean, there have been rumors, I don't have substantial evidence for that, that there's a new Bible that is coming to place. Hey. You know? And, and mm. when, when you are listening to this, all mm. that is going on, it's a Bible which actually takes all the power of the Bible off, mm. and mm. then it's going to be just a Bible that fits everyone, every sinner. This book was not designed to fit every sinner. Mm. It's a book that comes to the life of a sinner yes. and uplift the sinner <coughs> um, out yes. of their lives mm. and cleanse and prepare them for the kingdom to come. But we are hearing that the Vatican, the papacy, is actually working behind the scene. We don't know when, when it's going to be published. So mm. if they are to bring a new Bible and declare that this is the new Bible that fits everyone because they are promoting homosexuality and lesbianism and all these kind of things that are happening, then they are going to say, okay, set aside this one and we mm. want to use the, mm. the new one. And if you, if the nations are going to do that, look, the same results mm. will be as, as what happened in French Revolution. Mm -hmm. And people are going to end up doing the same thing and, and the result will be that life is going to be lost in the process. Mm. I think we need to also focus on the fact that um, the people wanted equality yeah. They wanted liberty mm. because they, so yes, they were oppressed. Mm. And I like, uh, what I like about this is that we as Christians, uh, as we are living today, we need to know that whatever that we face, it will not last forever. Oh, yes. mm. And we are, as we are talking about the, the, the persecutions that are coming, mm. we should know that God will always come out for us. Mm. So like these people, they died, many of them died, but we see them that they never stopped worshiping God. Some mm. of them would go to deserts and forests, mm. and as their members were being killed, but they never stopped to worship God because they knew that whatever that we are facing right now is wrong, mm. but we will never stop doing the right thing. Oh, yes. Mm. Oh, yes. What we learn is that God is the God of justice. Yes. And what we learn again is that um, God's ways are not our ways. Mm. They are high and holy. Because when you look at how the Protestants were dying, mm. you know, or prior to, to the revolution, mm. um, you would ask yourself, oh, Lord, why don't you avenge yourself? Mm. <laughs> when are you going to avenge yourself? Mm. But God's not the all omniscient God who knows better, you know, yep. full of wisdom yes. and glory, knows better when all these things shall come to an end. And justice, because he's the God of justice, will surely be served. I mean, that is the comfort mm, I yes, come yes. out with from having read this chapter. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm. May, maybe the last point about France, uh, it is saying... No land yet hey. to the spirit of enemy against Christ mm. so manifested like it was in hey. France. Mm -hmm. Yeah. War unto France. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I like, by the way, did you know that uh, France, whatever that France did in the time past during the Dark Ages, France was one of the nations that actually set up the papacy to power in, three, in three, 538. Yeah. And France, when you study very carefully, is a symbol of the United States that is going to reset the papacy. Yes. Mm. So the, 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 
the Americans, if they have any benefit of history that they need to study more, is to study the history of France. History of France. Yes. Mm. Because it's going to be through United States of America in the last days that of is course. going to compel everyone to walk against God. Mm. Mm. And that spirit is so everywhere. I mean, you can, you can even feel it now. The ground is now getting hot. Mm. So we yes. who are sitting on this side will have also to look at what has happened to France and how we're going to react mm. when these things are going to be reinstated in the near future. Hmm. So we've, you know, had a very comprehensive discussion about what was happening in France. And, you know, just to close up and to just wrap up, Revelation chapter 11, yes. you know, the prophecy that we were talking about, verse 11 says, And after three days and a half, the spirit of life from God entered into them, hmm. and they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them which saw them. So the two witnesses, they regain Amen. their yes. power, right? They, they come back to being where they are supposed to be. Amen. They're not downtrodden anymore. Oh, yeah. They are not in sackcloth mm. anymore, but they rise up and great fear comes upon the people. Mm which shows us that God always wins. Nice. You know, that every battle that we go through in life, every battle you are going through in life, mm. if you trust God and your life is hidden with Christ in God, mm. you are assured of the victory. Oh, yes. You know, no matter what Satan can do, we can see that he was playing in front. Yeah. He was using, <clears throat> you know, the papacy, he was using the people. Mm. It was absolute chaos. True. But ultimately what stands sure is the fact that the word of the Lord Amen. will stand forever. And everything that God has said will come to pass oh, yeah. because ultimately God will be victorious. Not only in France, mm. this is not history, oh, but yeah. God will be victorious even in the future. Amen. God will be victorious in your life yeah. even today mm. if we only entrust our lives to God. Oh, yes. And with that, we say thank you for today's session. Mm. We will ask Brother Francois to close for us in prayer. Let us pray. Our God and our Father, what's in heaven, we want to thank you so much, dear Lord, for giving us that comfort. That, Lord, if we align our lives with you, the future is bright. And we pray, dear Father, please, Lord, help us, as well as the viewers, wherever they are, to be able to choose you in place of revolution, because it does not help. It's never helped. It's not helping. Mm. And it shall never help in the future. Mm. Bless us now, dear God, Father, as we continue to study your word. But continue to help us as, as individuals to rise up higher the demand of the world, because the world will always want us to do things for them. But once if we have you on our side, it is much easier for us to be able to please you and to do what you've called us to do in this life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.